guys get ready for a North Idaho run with full throttle battery and a couple other guys we're gonna go on a big group ride for about four days just wanted to go over what we had on the car again it's a KRX 1000 four-seater got our trusty Pelican vault it's got our air compressor uh, plug kit fire extinguisher uh, it's got a moose quick release those are always handy good good to have we took most of the seats out we left one in just in case we needed to carry somebody but we have a, a rig gear hurricane bag to carry our clothes and other items ojo um huge ojo bag for our tent and that that type of thing climb helmet we're testing out on this trip the maglock magnet uh, bumper hose we're going to use a Garmin tread to track the trails, um, keep in contact with each other. Got a, an older Camp Chef cooler in the passenger seat there for, for all our food for four days. Giant loop gas bag down there. Rugged radio handheld. Um, we're not going to be stretching out too much because we are on forest road, so that should be plenty. And Sector 7 mirrors. We'll be able to see the crew behind us. and. Uh, and have a good day on the trail or actually a good week on the trail so um, follow along and we'll uh, give you some more clips and, and check in along the trail Three, two, one. Right here we're packing up for uh, another day on the trail with the uh, full throttle battery. They took us on a really cool overlanding trip in the UTVs. We used the Kawasaki four-seater, had tons of room for food, water, gear, tents. Um, it's been working great. We've used about eight gallons of gas for every hundred miles. We went through three towns to fuel up. They were all UTV friendly towns, which was great. They had food, they had uh, gas, Wallace, Pierce, and Avery. Um, they're all on this Idaho BDR route. Beautiful scenery, saw a little bit of wildlife, tons of great views, some lakes, some streams, lots of bridges to cross. Um, again, we use a Garmin tread to navigate. Sector 7 mirrors, rugged radio, handheld, and the KRX-4. I mean, it, it all worked out. It worked out really good. And so we suggest it to anyone that has a like-minded group of friends that have other UTVs and want to camp. I mean, we camped for free every night, which was great. Um, we all set up tents. We, we got in before the sun went down and had a good time. 
had a little lightning storm last night, which was, was pretty cool. Hopefully the trails are uh, a little wetter and a little less dust, and that'll help help get us back to Clark Fork today to, to finish the ride. Thanks for coming along.